Hi, Alina. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Ooh, it's going to be fun. I'm excited to talk about Atlantis. Um, I just want to start by introducing myself. I'm Claudia. I'm a PGY2 dermatology resident. I live in the New York City area with my husband, our little 10-month-old baby girl. Um, so today we're interviewing Elena. Um, she's a second-year medical student. She completed an Atlantis program in Croatia. I went on an Atlantis program myself in Milan um, as a medical student, actually. So let's get started. Elena, I'd love for you to just like introduce yourself and get started. Absolutely. Yeah. So hello, everyone. My name is Elena. Um, I am, as she said, a current, well, about to go into my second year of medical school and um, took a gap year after undergrad and grew up in Michigan. But yeah, I went on my Atlantis program in 2019. So I was an undergrad um, student during the time. And I went on a three week program to Zagreb, Croatia and had the best time. So yes, I'm so excited to talk about it. It's been a while. Yay. Perfect. Um, yeah, I feel like a good place to start would be just telling us a little bit about your program. What it was mm -hmm. like. Absolutely. So, um, as I said, mine was three weeks long, so I got to, uh, shadow three different specialties, which was amazing to see. Um, I was pretty early on in my undergrad career, but knew that I wanted to go into medicine at this time. So I, and I know that I I wanted to study abroad because how exciting is that to at such a young age to see so many different cultures and places in the world. So um, when I found Atlantis, I was so excited to be able to do something that wasn't just sitting in a classroom abroad, but really being in the hospitals, talking with patients, talking with the physicians, um, the nurses, everyone involved. It was an amazing experience to do so. Um, but yeah, I made a lot of friends with a lot of other pre-med or pre-PA, um, nursing students, everyone that was in, that was interested in medicine and still keep in touch with some, with some of them still today. Cause we had so much fun, but yeah, that was a, a little bit about it, but. <laughs> cool. Um, did you study abroad too, or you just did an Atlantis program? I just did an Atlantis program because, you know, COVID happened during my undergrad career. So a lot of those programs got shut down. So thankfully, I was able to have this program um, to be able to have that experience. And when did you fit it in during school? Were you like a summer break or when did you go? Yeah, it was um, one of my summer breaks. So mm -hmm. I think you said that you went during your holiday breaks. Was that that? Yeah. Yeah. It's so nice that they have both options like that. So whenever the students are on their school breaks, it was it was fit in perfectly. Yeah, I feel like Atlantis just had so many options. And obviously, they're making this for pre health students. Yeah. So there's so many options for those of us who are, you know, working our schedules around breaks and whatnot. So mm -hmm. super helpful. Okay, and did you mention how long your program was? Yes, it was three weeks long. So I got to uh, shadow three different specialties. Um, yeah, so I had, a, you know, I think each program or most, most of the time, I'm pretty sure you do four days of shadowing and then you have a Friday type of excursion with your group. And so then four days with another specialty, something like that. Yeah. What excursions did you guys do? We did, we went to like Como. I'm trying to remember what the other one was, but that was super fun. It was amazing. Fun, and it was really close to Como. I think it was like maybe an hour or less away. Um, and that was super, super fun. Like going all as a group. I was great. What That's did you do? Do you remember? Yes, we did. Um, our first week we did this excursion to, oh my goodness, I forgot the name of it, but it was this national park in Croatia. And we got to go on this hike with all these beautiful waterfalls. The pictures were absolutely insane. Um, so we got to do something like that, which was more outdoorsy. And then our second week, we went to this farm that has been there for years and years and years and got to meet the family, got a tour of their grounds, got to pick some food, make dinner with them with their own recipes and then have this huge feast. So it was quite the experience. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that sounds so cool. So you, and then was it generally like, did you shadow one specialty each week or was it like, how was the, sh how did the shadowing work? Yeah. So we actually got the first day, our um, site managers, they gave us a list of all the different specialties that were at that um, facility or hospital that we were able to shadow. And you got to rank all the ones that you wanted to see. So I was, it was very grateful to actually have a say in it. I mean, I'm still a second year med student. I'm still not set on what specialty I want to go into, but even then, I there I knew that there were some things that I really wanted to see. So I put um, OBGYN as my top one. And I was very grateful. I got to see, I got to shadow that for one week. I got to see anesthesiology as well. So, so many surgeries. But yeah, I was able to go one week each time. And 
every week I had at least, I had one or two students with me just so I wasn't the only other Atlanta That's student yeah. in the hospital with, you know, these physicians. Um, cause I bet, you know, shadowing that early on, it was a, probably a little bit intimidating if I was alone. Right. Um, but yeah, it was really exciting because I had another student there, got to be really close with them over the couple of days that we were shadowing that specialty. Um, and then got to go on to the next one and learn from them as well. Cool. So you did OB anesthesia. Was there a third one too? Yes. I believe it was general surgery. So you did a ton of surgery. Yes. I didn't even realize that that (laughs) at that time I'd gotten to see so much of it, but I'm really grateful because I, you know, I hadn't had those experiences really being in an OR that much in, um, in the U S at that point. And so really it pushed me out of my comfort zone for sure, but I really loved it. That's so cool. I wish I could have experienced the OR before medical school, all of my shot. I didn't get to do any OR shadowing. Um, but that's so cool that you had that experience. I love that. It was so fun. Did you, what did you shadow when you were abroad? I did. Oh my gosh. It was interventional radiology actually. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. I, really I haven't even shadowed that right now, but all the, all the people that I'm learning from, it sounds like such an amazing field. It was really cool. Yeah. And the doc that I was with was just so passionate and welcoming and he was phenomenal. I, I had so much fun working with him too. So that <laughs> made me the experience amazing as well. That's um, awesome. Yeah. So what would you say you liked most about your experience? Is there like a favorite part? Yeah. I mean, being immersed in a different culture, one, was just amazing. I would never trade it for the world. I thought that was such an awesome experience. And I can't, I couldn't have really gotten that in any other, in any other program, really. If I was studying abroad, it would have been, you know, amazing to to do that as well. But this way I was really immersed in the healthcare experience of a different country, which you never really get to do that often. I was able to speak with the physicians and the nurses and the patients even, and really learn from them as well as meet other students from around the country and hear about their experiences as a pre-med student. So overall, I thought it was very inspirational to be able to solidify my decision to go into medicine because, yeah, because you're able to meet all these people that are inspiring and see these things that, you know, some people could probably shy away from medicine after being in an OR like that. Um, but luckily I just, I enjoyed it. Um, and I got to see the relationships that physicians are able to have with patients, especially my time, uh, in the obstetrics and gynecology department, I loved seeing those relationships being formed with the families. And so, wow, I, I just listed off like six things that I loved yeah. most about trip, but I would, it was just overall very, um, inspiring. And I would say that that was definitely one of the reasons that I continued on that pathway after they threw out undergrad. Yeah. I feel like going to medical school is such a huge decision and Mm -hmm. it's really cool to have that, that experience to be like, okay, this is definitely what I want to do. And I'm excited. I'm like passionate. Um, I think it's really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Do you remember how many students were in your program or like about how big or small it was? I would say for some reason, the number 13 is coming to mind, but I know that most of them from talking to other people that have done the program, I think all of them range from about 10 to 20 students. So it is pretty intimate because you get to, you know, all of those students very well and you get to live with all of them or live close by to all of them. So you get really close to them. Yeah. That's so you have friends that like you keep in touch with now. Yeah. I love looking at their um, Instagrams or something. And I, one of them just got married. Uh, all, all of them right now are either in some sort of nursing program or PA school, or I saw one just started med school as well. So it's exciting to see them on their journeys too. That's so cool. That's so cool. Um, and you, okay. We already said your program was three weeks and then do you, re- I mean, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing like there's longer and shorter programs available. Like how did you decide on the three weeks that just kind of fit with your schedule Really? Yeah, I was actually doing research at that time with my undergrad and this 3 weeks kind of worked perfectly with, you know, when the breaks were happening. So, that 3 weeks was perfect, but I believe that there's also well, I know there's one week programs both in the summer and I think those are the one the one and two week programs are over the winter break usually. And then there's also I think 6 week programs and 9 week long programs depending on if you want to go to multiple places to see different countries, um different cities. So I did the three because it fit perfectly with me, but, you know, I think 
even going back now as a medical student would be really interesting now that I actually know a little bit more about medicine right. or about like the U.S. healthcare system to do some more comparison. So I, yeah, I think the three week was perfect for at that, that time for me. Yeah. I think three weeks is actually a really good amount of time. There was some gals that I was doing the program with who were like already while we were on our trip planning, cause we were there in the winter. So they were like, oh, oh my gosh, we're going to book a trip and do this again in the summer. Cause they were just Seriously. loving it so much and doing it <laughs> longer. Um, that's so exciting I know so cool um how did was there a language barrier that you faced or like did it impact your experience like yeah I they the people that I were that I was working with in the hospital I think all of them um the physicians the nurses everyone on the healthcare team most mostly spoke English so in that sense it wasn't too much of a language barrier there um but I, I know some of the patients they of course you know if they're giving birth. They don't want to speak in English just because, you know, a, so a student is there to, to, to do that. And so, but I feel like in those moments, I actually had a very impactful experience because I was able to see the benefit of nonverbal communication. And in that sense, I thought that honestly, that was probably more impactful because I, at that time, I didn't know the technical lingo of what was going on. And, you know, I was kind of just standing back because of course that's a very, um, Tender Not, moment, right? Yeah, tender is a great way to put it. I was to say there's there's a little bit of chaos, but also a lot of excitement and a lot of people that are involved in that moment. So I was just standing back, but I noticed that whenever the woman or the 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 partner was there, you know, they both of them were a little bit stressed out or something. I saw the nonverbal communication between the providers and yeah. the patients or the family in some way, giving that reassurance of, you know, this is what, this is what's supposed to happen all as well. So even though there wasn't too much of a language barrier between me and the people working at the hospital, it was really, I think that that language barrier, if anything, just gave me a different perspective to look through. Yeah. That's really cool. You sound like you love OB. I'm so curious what you're going to apply for. I know. <laughs> I mean, that's just me right now. Luckily I had a good experience when I was there with it. And so far have been really interested, but start my rotations in a couple of months. So no, I'm going to have to, I, like it, I think I'll be sold. <laughs> Who knows? I want to see where you end up. That's, that's great though. I, I agree. That sounds beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, did we already talk about this? Why you chose Croatia or like the specific program you did? I don't know if we did. Not really. I, decided that I wanted to do something different. And I didn't, at that time, I was thinking that, you know, I had, I knew that at some point I wanted to go to Italy or go to Spain in some way, but I didn't know much about Croatia. And I kind of wanted this to be a, a very new experience for me. Something that I do, will do something that I'm a little bit fearful of maybe. And that's the place that I was so, I didn't know much about. And so I thought that that would probably be the best place for me to really be immersed in their culture and learn a about a new place in the world. So I decided Croatia and I'm so glad I did because it was, it was so wonderful. And I, it's the kind of place that I would love to go back to now. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I'm like, you're making me want to visit Croatia. I've never been. And I'm like, Oh, this sounds great. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. I feel like since I've been on my trip now, I see people going on vacations there all the time. It's so like, I need to go back and really just have a vacation there perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Oh, so good. Um, do you remember like what other specialties they offered while you were there? Oh, goodness. I know. Um, I was like trying to remember myself and I'm like, I can't really remember. I know. I know a lot of the people in my group did anesthesiology because, um, at least the, I think the physicians in that hospital specifically were really willing to allow the students to shadow mm -hmm. them. So I think it depends on where you go, um, what specialties are available, but I think that, you know, anesthesiology, general surgery, and I'm pretty sure OB actually, the three that I did were, were pretty, you know, well established there. Um, and the physicians were really willing to allow us all to come by. I think that I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure one of the people in my group um, was in neurosurgery or neurology. I'm not one of the two, because I remember being like, I wish I got to go in there. Um, but yeah, I, I think it just depends on which program you go to. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. How, do you remember about how many hours you got? Oh, goodness. I think, I mean, I was there um, at least six hours a day, um, just depending on when the surgeries were. So like six to eight hours a day. And that was four days a week. So I think it was up to like 60 hours or something. Okay. So did you have a roommate when you were on your program? Yes, I did. I had one roommate and all of all of the people in my group were in one build, one apartment building. And so each of us had our own little apartments and it was great. So I think 
there was one room where girls, there were like three girls in a room, just depending on that. But I think for the most part, you'll always have a roommate. That's so fun. Did you guys like have a blast together? Oh my goodness. So much fun. There was even there. I feel like everyone would always just knock on each other's doors. So it was like, we were all, you know, big roommates together. Cause we would go to the hospital together or eat our meals together. It was so fun. <laughs> Oh, that's so great. And then how far was the hospital um, and your housing? Like, what was the distance like? Yeah, I think that Atlantis tries to keep it pretty close or at least have some sort of public transportation if it's not in walking distance. So mine, I think there was a tram that was about a three minute walk away from our apartment building. And then that tram took about 10 minutes to get to the hospital. So it was pretty easy to get there and back. And our site manager, you know, took us through the entirety of the, of the trek at, before we even went to it. So it was very easy to follow. Yeah. I think mine was like, if you walked, it was kind of far. And I, sometimes I like doing the walk. Maybe it was like a 25 minute or 30 minute walk. But then if you took the train, it was like five minutes or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not bad at all. <laughs> yeah. Not bad at all. And then what meals were included for you? Yeah. So I, if I remember correctly, I think that there were two group meals that we had per week, um, that our site managers took us out to. So all of us could come together, go out to eat at some cool restaurant in the city that we were in. Um, so those two were included. And then I believe the meals on the day of our excursions were also included. Um, so those were the Fridays of each week. And then I know our site managers, they bought a bunch of groceries for us that we could make breakfast or pack a lunch for ourselves in during the days. So I'm not sure if that's, you know, standard across all of the, all the programs, but our site managers were so cool and they bought us a bunch of stuff so we could just make food for ourselves if we wanted. That's so good. Like site moms. Yeah, literally it was so much fun. <laughs> so sweet. I love that. And then you've been, we've both been kind of talking about like the site managers, but my last question was like, who's there like to help if something was to happen? Yeah. So th these site managers, they, I had two on my program. I'm not sure if that's standard across all of them, whether there's one or three, who knows. Uh, but both of them actually were from that area. So they were born and raised in Zagreb. And so they knew the area really well. So I felt very safe and yeah. trusting myself, you know, give it full, even with just recommendations on where I should get dinner with my friends that night or um, maybe areas to go to or and explore museums or, you know, maybe places that, you know, I don't need to spend too much time there with my limited time there. So if anything happened, we had their numbers on our phones and they were in, you, you could contact them, contact them 24 seven if you needed. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I, it was, it would all like went really well because they were organizing everything. And once we got our schedules for a shadowing, we were given a lot of independence to, you know, make sure that we were there on time. And uh, yeah, so they, after, once they did that, we and besides the big coordinated events with the dinners and the excursions, um, we had a lot of independence to do what we, what we wanted to do and explore the city the way that we wanted to. Oh, that's awesome. I felt the same way. Yeah. Like there was a lot of independence outside of like the shadowing and then activities, but like, yeah, I felt like every night I had time to do something fun. Yes. Every single night it was yeah. we'd get cool dinners somewhere, see all the museums. Um, I was very grateful for it. So cool. Um, I guess I, I said that was going to be my last question, but um, is there any advice you would have for students considering an Atlantis program? Oh, goodness. So much. I mean, this experience was really eye opening in so many ways. One, just being able to go to a different country and see. I mean, you even get that when you're on vacation or something, but being open to all the experiences that come to you. I would say just continue to be open. If you go on one of these programs, make friends with the people that you're around because they may be in different stages. Like you went during medical school. I think that it would have been so wonderful to talk to somebody who was in medical school at that time if there was somebody in, in my program. So be open to the experiences and you know the conversations that you have with other students that are on the program, as well as you know the patients that you get to meet and hear from their experiences within the healthcare system, the physicians, all of the different... I mean, a lot of people go into medical schools, you know, interested in a, in a specific specialty and somebody may go into this program like that too, which is awesome, but definitely keep your mind open because, you know, you may be inspired by something that you didn't realize. So yeah, I think that might be my advice to them. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's such good advice. Well, thank you, Alina. It's been so fun to talk to you and so cool to hear about your experience. I'm like ready to literally book a trip to Croatia now. I know. I think I want to go back now. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to book an Atlantis trip to Croatia for myself. <laughs> You're fully a resident right now and you've got enough clinical time. 
Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, such a pleasure to chat with you. Thank you so much.